Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. One very good thing about getting close to the end of October, we get close to the end of the pollen season. We're very close to that right now. The Boise Valley Al Asthma and Allergy Clinic has been giving us a pollen count all season long, and that sage yesterday down to a six. No report today. We'll let you know early next week if it is gone for good. Let's hope that is certainly the case. Weather-wise, take a look at the high temperature today. I thought we'd hit 71. It actually got to 68 degrees. Boy, at 10 o'clock this morning, I thought, no way am I going to make that three-degree guarantee today, but we certainly did at 68, just barely made making it in as temperatures warmed as the clouds broke just a little bit. But uh, we've got a lot of cloud cover that's been out there. And you see some rain showers to the north and west. I think this area is going to slide to the east. We're getting some light rain in the McCall area right now. By the way, Brundage Mountain, the top of Brundage Mountain is 35 degrees right now. Three degrees per thousand feet in a moist atmosphere as far as temperatures go. So to go from 35 to 32, the snow level basically, or the freezing level, is about a thousand feet above the top of Brundage Mountain right now. So we're getting close to that time of year. We're bringing cold weather, they'll get snow and they'll get snow next week and maybe even a couple snow showers early tomorrow morning. This moisture will stay mostly to the north overnight tonight. We'll get a little bit in the Treasure Valley, but by the time tomorrow rolls around, dry weather is going to come in. But colder weather, this is a sign of real cold air coming in over the Pacific. And we're going to get a little bit of a taste of that headed in our direction. So the future cast shows the rain showers overnight tonight are gone. This is 9 o'clock Saturday morning. It's not going to rain tomorrow morning in the Treasure Valley. You'll wake up, there'll be a lot of sunshine going on. Partly cloudy skies during the afternoon. We may get a little more cloud cover coming in, kind of in and out of the cloud cover over the weekend with the breeziest weather on Saturday, so that's when it'll be chilly. Cooler temperatures Sunday, but we'll get some sunshine around as well. Look at Monday. The blue is snow. Snow will be flying in Idaho's mountains on Monday and Tuesday as well. But breezy and chilly in the Treasure Valley tomorrow. Highs right around 60 degrees. Low temperatures around 50. Not a cold morning, but look at this wind in the afternoon. Northwest 10 to 25 miles an hour. So some gusty winds only getting into the mid 40s in Long Valley tomorrow. But again, lingering snow showers and rain showers in some of the mountains. But generally clouds and sunshine throughout the West Central Mountains. Brisk and chilly with a bit of a breeze. And a couple lingering snow flurries in the Sawtooth and the White Clouds up around Mount Bora may be the case near Sun Valley. So chilly in the valleys, but snow flurries in the mountains. Only 59 in Twin tomorrow with a gusty northwest wind at 15 to 30. It's going to be getting on the hot side, or say on the cold side with that blustery wind. You see that afternoon temperature tomorrow, 59. We'll get a little cloud cover coming in. My On Your Side extended forecast shows that Monday and Tuesday, that's when the real precipitation has a better chance of bringing snow to Idaho's mountains. The first appreciable snow is likely at some point between Monday morning and Tuesday night. Over the weekend, we'll get some sunshine. It's just going to get a little chilly. Setting the stage for a turn towards winter.